Leviticus 11, foods. God spoke to Moses and Aaron. Speak to the people of Israel. Tell them of all the animals on earth, these are the animals that you may eat. You may eat any animals that has split hooves, divided in two, and that chews the cud, but not the animals that only chew the cud or only has split hooves. For instance, the camel Choose the cud, but doesn't have splint hooves, so it's unclean. The rock badger chews the cud, but doesn't have split hooves, so it's unclean. The rabbit chews the cud, but doesn't have split hooves. So it's unclean. The pig has split hooves divided into two. But it doesn't chew the cud. So it's unclean. You may not eat their meat nor touch their carcasses. They are unclean to you. Among the creatures that live in the water of the seas and streams, you may eat any of them that have fins and scales. But anything that doesn't have fins and scales, whether in the seas or streams, whether small, small creatures, in the shallow are huge creatures in the deeps. You are the deepest. Yes, the deepest them. Don't eat their meat. This their carcasses. Anything living in the water that doesn't have fins and scales is detectable to you. 13 through 19. These are the bird you detest. Don't eat them. They are detect detectable eagle, vulture, osprey, kite, all falcons, all ravens, ostrich, nighthawk, seagull, all hawks, owl, comet, Ibis, water hen, pelican, Egyptian vulture, stork, all horns, hoopoo bats, 23 through 23, 20 through 23. All flying insects that walk on all four are detectable to you, but you can eat some of these, n n namely those that have joint legs for hopping on the ground, all locusts, kiteites, crickets, and grasshoppers. 
but all other flying insects that have four legs, you are to de detest 24 and 25. You may you will make yourself readily unclean until evening if you touch their carcasses. If you pick up one of their carcasses, you must wash your clothes. You'll be unclean until evening. Every animal that has split hooves that's not completely divided or that doesn't chew the cud is unclean for you. If you touch their carcasses of any of them, you become unclean. 27 and 28. Every four-footed animal that goes on its paws is unclean for you. If you touch their carcasses, you are unclean until evening. If you pick their carcasses up, you must wash your clothes and are unclean until evening. They are unclean for you. Verse 29 through 38. Among the creatures that crawl the ground, the following are unclean to you. Weasel, rat, all lizards, gecko, monitor lizards, wall lizards, sink, chamberlain. Among the crawling creatures, these are unclean to, for you. If you touch them when they are dead, you are readily unclean until evening. When one of them dies and falls on something, that becomes unclean. No matter what it's used for, it's made of wood, cloth, Hide or smack cloth. Put it in the water. It is unclean until the evening. And then it's clean. If one of these creatures falls into a clay pot, everything in the pot is unclean. You must break the pot. Any food that could be eaten but has water on it from such a pot is unclean and every any liquid that could be drunk from such pot is unclean and any liquid, anything that is of these carcasses falls is unclean. An oven or cooking pot must be broken up. They're unclean and must be treated as unclean. A spring through or a castern for collecting water remains clean. But if you touch one of these carcasses, you're readily unclean. If a carcass falls on any seeds that are planted, they remain clean. But if water has been put on the seed 
and the carcass falls on it. It must be treated as unclean. 39 and 40. If an animal is permitted to eat, dies. Anyone who touches it, their carcass is readily unclean until evening. If you eat some of the carcass, you must wash your clothes and you are unclean until evening. If you pick up the carcass, you must wash your clothes and are unclean until evening. 41 through 43. Creatures that crawl on the ground are detestable and not to be eaten. Don't eat creatures that crawl on the ground whether on their belly or on all fours or many feet. They're de detestable. Don't make yourself unclean or be defiled by them because I am your God. Forty four and forty five. Make yourself holy, for I am holy. Don't make yourself readily unclean by any creatures that crawl on the ground. I am God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Be holy because I am holy. Forty six and forty seven. These are the instructions on animals, birds, and fish and creatures that crawl on the ground. You have to distinguish between the readily unclean and clean, between living creatures that can be eaten and those that cannot be eaten. Thank you for listening to this chapter. I know it was a little long, but again, thank you very much.